The most frustrating part as a dad was I didn't know how to help him. Robert Swanson is part of a group no parent wants to belong. His son Michael, who lived with bipolar disorder, died by suicide at 33. Suicide rates are increasing in the United States, including Minnesota. According to the CDC, about half of suicide victims had a known mental health condition. Swanson says part of the problem is the misperception of mental illness. If our son walked in right now, he'd have a big smile. You'd think nothing's wrong with him. Inside was that pain trying to even get through the day. The smile was a mask. So because the shame and stigma, people by and large still wear a mask. So we're talking about it, but we still look at people with mental illness and go, well, what's wrong with, why don't they get f fixed, you know? Take care of it. Take your meds. <laughs> it's not that simple. NAMI, or the National Alliance on Mental Illness, is a grassroots organization with 20 chapters in Minnesota. Swanson first became familiar with NAMI when he sought support for his family. The biggest part was we found hope in that there were other families dealing with the same thing that we didn't feel alone. and We felt we could share our innermost fears and concerns with other people that were living with, with similar journeys. Kate King is the community educator for NAMI Minnesota, which provides education, support, and advocacy, though not direct services. She says everyone should have, at the very least, a basic education on mental health. And NAMI Minnesota provides many classes, most of which are free. In her experience, she's helped older adults understand what mental illness looks like. I had a woman come up to me and say, oh, now I know what my dad lived with. And my discussion was older adults and depression. So she, who looked like she perhaps was in her late 70s, was able to say, my dad was a farmer. I guess that's maybe what he lived with was major depression. NAMI Minnesota relies heavily on volunteers, and Robert Swanson has found helping others has helped him to a degree, though some wounds never entirely heal. It's been nine years. I have some, some people I have the feeling, well, get over it. I mean, it's been nine years. I'll never get over it.